Hey guys, this is Sneakercraft. If you don't know me, a little bit about myself. I have been customizing Roshis for about two years now. Um, I do customize other things, but the Roshis are definitely what I'm known for, most known for. But I've also ventured into other things. So if you guys take a look at my channel, you can see that I do a lot of other, a lot of other customs. Um, I've worked for Angela's Direct for about a year and a half now. So if you call and you chat or any of those things, it's probably me that you're talking to. Um, if you have any questions, leave a question down below. Check out my videos and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I do have a life. Today we're gonna do an NMD Galaxy. So, so I've decided to go ahead and do this uh, rubber piece here, and then the pod, this pod, and also this pod here. So we will need adhesion promoter. This is probably my favorite one, flat white, which I've desperately labeled the blue turquoise, the purple, and that's pretty much it. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is tape this guy off. I'm also gonna put up a, um, a link for the Galaxy kit that Angelus Direct sells. It has all these colors. The only color that I'm switching out is the Bahama Blue, but it'll also work. Today I'm on the sauce. I don't know if I'm gonna in trouble for that. I'm on the sauce! All right, taping on the first one is pretty much done. Make sure that you tape up the uh, midsole area. You don't want any of the uh, bulldog to get the transfer on this. It will have, uh, other things might stick to it. Um, it won't come off easily. So you gotta make sure that you cover anything that you don't want the adhesion promoter on. So I'm gonna go ahead and also cover this area. I'm just gonna leave this exposed, the two tabs there, and that's pretty much it. So it is all taped off. And now we'll go outside and use this guy, and hopefully we don't die. I'm shaking while I'm drinking this. All right guys, so again, I apologize if it gets loud. So what we're gonna do is, um, I never really shake this guy up. Take this shoe out of the way, set it down or something, and just go ahead and lightly, just lightly uh, give it a few coats. So we're gonna let this dry for about five to ten. Really weird. It stays um, stays a little bit shiny. It smells like death, but um, that's okay. That's the way it smells. So like I said, outside is where you do this. We're gonna need these, and then we'll start with white. So what we're gonna do is. Um, kind of just lightly spounce the areas of white first. We gotta do white if we wanna do any other color on top of it to make it pop. So we're just kind of recreating, creating little like shapes that I would think or that you would think would be a, a galaxy, I guess. done just tiny little patterns we don't have much room to play with so the smaller you can make them the better um, I made sure that I did the Adidas logo which is trefoil trefoil I have no idea what you call it don't care um, that's like a good highlight there that you guys can work on and then we'll do the sides here I still have a little bit of paint on mine you're just using this just to highlight so that um, you can see a little bit from underneath the colors when you put them on there and also because putting colors on black is not going to happen unless you have a white or lighter surface if you want to give more contrast here which i suggest on the white parts where there is more of the um the darker of the white sorry the like these areas right here just wait till this dries and then add more so i did a little bit more work back here i added kind of like a design of like hey galaxy we're coming through and then uh, didn't do anything here. But yeah, we're gonna let this dry for at least um, 10, 15, maybe even half hour just to get yourselves uh, ready for the, for the next color. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna be tragic. So go ahead and uh, start with the other one. Now we'll be ready for our second color. And our second color, that's gonna be up to you. 
Um, I use purple, but you can also use a lilac or any other color. This is your galaxy, your interpretation of a galaxy, so whatever color you guys think. We're not gonna cover the entire white, we wanna leave a little bit, so we're just gonna kind of work around it or from the middle out. So here's what the finished product is for now, or the second layer of the purple. Um, we'll probably put another layer of purple. All right, so the next color that we're moving on to for these NMDs is the blue turquoise. So where you see that you have some white, that's where you want to put it. I mean, you're also going to put it on a little bit on the black, whatever. So it's really hard because there's not a lot of space for us to play with on these shoes. But that's... Uh, that's good, I guess. Kind of teach you how to get small detailing done. Before we untape it, this will be if you guys uh, decide to do any other splatter. I am going to go ahead and do the flick a little bit, very, very, very little. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe just do that on the back. So as I do it in my other videos, if you have your indoor box, go ahead and retrieve it. Once you have your box in place, it's time to go ahead and do the splatter effect. I'm gonna use a flat white. First off, splatter far back to get all the excess paint off your finger. And then there's one, there's two. I'm not gonna do more than that on them. I think that that's plenty. I don't want it to be too busy. The back probably add a little bit more than that. Alright guys, so we're finished with the Galaxy NMD vid. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else. If you have any questions about it, uh, leave questions below. You can DM me at Sneakercraft to ask any questions about the shoe, whatever the process. More than happy to answer. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and I'll be back again.